Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Unter Fränkisches Pils. This one is from Werner Breu, located in the town of Poppenhausen in Unterfranken. And it comes in this NRW bottle, as you can see. A very traditional looking bottle and label, in my opinion, with the main label right here and the top label. Typical German style, I would say, on the back label right here. I'm gonna show it closer to you. Read read it through later on on the video, but first a closer look over the front label, here you can see for yourselves, uh, it's called Werner Premium Pilsner, site 1791, and here you see the family weapon uh, right here, I really love this color combination, and here it's also Werner Premium Pilsner, and um, yeah, as I said, it's come from Poppenhaus and Unterfranken, Unterfranken, which is the home of pills um, in Franconia, the uh, part of Germany where pills is very uh, appreciated. So, uh, high expectations of this one, and uh, let's start with opening up the bottle, of course, and uh, pour it into the glass. As I said, my expectations is, is very high because uh, Unterfranken is the home of pills and always is having very high quality uh, pills in my opinion, so I bet this one is going to be really great looking fantastic in my opinion, very golden in color two finger thick white foam crown as you can see looking fantastic, so let's get the aroma which is very very fantastic, real fresh and nice dry, dr grassy, fresh hops bitterness Really, really fantastic. So, let's give it a try. The Werner Boy Poppenhaus and Premium Pilsner. Post. Yep. This is um, really, really nice, actually. It's a great pills one that I can recommend. Definitely. Uh, and a really fine brewery also. Uh, I like the color combination of the label, if we can start with that. It's really traditional and nice. It says right here, site 1791, well premium pills now, aus Land. Um, and the back label right here, claim is, uh, well now, premium pills now, aus Frankischem Land, Zutaten Brauerstrikas und als Hopfen. And it's, uh, this brewery was unfortunately closed down in 2003, so it's a contract brewed by uh, Wilsburg or Hofbräu. And, uh, but it's according to the original recipe, if I understand correctly. So it really doesn't matter, but because it's the Werner Premium Pilsner, it's from original recipe. Uh, I believe alcohol content is 4.9% volume, so which is almost always the case, that volume in uh, pills. German pills. So the uh, the taste of this pills is great and definitely a big recommendation for me. I can also show um, a book about um, Franconian brewers that I'm having. If you're interested in that, of course it's uh, an older book since. Uh, the brewery isn't active anymore, so it's this book right here, and um, here you can see uh, for yourselves right here the no boy in Poppenhaus and how it looks. Always interesting to uh, here you see the same logo. Always interesting to have a look at the brewery how how the brewery is looking. Um, it says right here, Velno Boy Gamba and Company KG 97490 Poppenhausen Hauptstraße 13 and telephone number uh, Peter Sauer Paris founded 1791 uh, since 1830 in family ownership. Velno Pilsner and uh, many other ones. And I'll put 150,000 hectolitres. Uh, Meist getrunken pills and um, yeah, there are 
there's a lot of information right here. The Brauerei uh, Gasthof is called Zum Goldenen Stern. Yeah, sounds very, very traditional. So, of course, very sad that they had closed down this brewery. I don't know why, but that's happened quite often in Franconia, where there are a lot of breweries in every smallest town. There at least was a brewery before, but now the money is closing down, unfortunately, which is very sad. I want to point out, though, regarding that, that I'm very happy and grateful um, to these breweries who are continuing to uh, brew the closed down uh, breweries beers, like in this case, so we still can enjoy the taste of Lano Boy Premium Pilsner. Um, so thanks to Wilsburg or Hofboy in uh, Wilsburg who uh, continue to brew the Verno Boy Premium Pilsner because it really should be enjoyed because it's so nice and tasty and looks real nice also as well. Of the color combination as I said with the black, golden, green and white and red. Looks traditional and nice and um, yeah, they uh, have the opportunity to, to continue because the, it's a big brewery, the Wilsburg Hofboy. <coughs> Seems also that Velma was a quite big brewery, which is quite surprising that they had a close down, but this is um, tasting really, really fine. And of course, a recommendation, as I said. Always right time for a Unterfränkisches Pils. Here is some information also that I found on um, a website, Werner Boy, uh, Hauptstraße 13 to 15, 97490, Poffenhausen, Bayern Unterfranken, founded in 1791, uh, closed down 2003, uh, 1999, did the Wilsburg Hofboy take over the brewery and uh, 2007 it was closed down and continued to be brewed as a, a trademark. Okay, um, and there is also another website about the Velma Boy Poppenhausen, which I can link to in the description box below, so you have that information also as well. Um, but um, the main thing is that this is a great pills. That it's long give out really doesn't matter uh, since it's the original recipe. In my opinion, it's still uh, the original and it's still tasting fantastic and it's still being enjoyed, and that's a good thing. It um, keeps the history alive a little bit more compelling to if uh, a brewery has to close down and it's not being continued to brew by someone else. <laughs> So I really love that um, when the breweries are continuing to brew a beer from a, a brewery that has been closed down, I, uh, I really hope that that's going to continue. But of course the best thing is if the breweries aren't closing down at all. So that's it for now. That's the um, Werner Boy Poppenhausen Premium Pilsner from Unterfranken and um, it's really really great and uh, yeah that's it for now as always I hope you like my reviews and uh, see you again in next Franconian Berry.